Hey, what's up guys? Coming to you with another update here at the uh, Old Barn Homestead. And I'm out here. It's about, uh, I don't know, 7.30 p.m. Just cutting out some stuff. <clears throat> you guys saw the metal bender video. And uh, so that seems to be going pretty good. Have a few orders coming through. Uh, some orders for the plans. Honestly, I, I thought I would get more orders for um plans you know but so far um yeah i'm getting more orders for the actual kits than the plans so i'm getting stuff staged up here and i've got one box fully kitted and ready to go and here's what i ended up doing um i'm kind of stacking it up together like this and then taping it all up and then i'm using one of these um flat rate boxes and um getting it wrapped up in that and it's way too you know it's too big to fit in one of the small flat rate boxes one of the little thin thin ones like that um and it's quite a bit too um small to fit in this you know and it leaves a lot of extra room and i really don't want to pay a lot of money for packaging you know the bubble wrap and all that just really adds up i want to keep the cost down to the extent that i can so what i did was um, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do it, but what I did was I reused zip ties and zip tied the inner box to the bottom of it and put tape over the zip ties there uh, so that it's held secure to the bottom and it's not just flopping around. Um, so and I think zip ties are a lot of it, a lot you know cheaper to use than bubble wrap is, and and bubble wrap you know may not hold that securely in there anyway because it's pretty heavy to be you know. In, in a box like that so anyway I've got a bunch of stuff cut out and um, you know bolts and um, these dial pins that are part of the kit um, so getting it all kitted up I've got the plans uh, complete um, and uh, diagrams you know drawings um, got the one hour video that takes you through the whole process um, I'll show you uh, this real quick I uh, was I use this piece of melamine to take pictures on because it's got a white background and stuff shows up pretty good on it um, so there's the one I've had for a while and this is the one I made to make the instructional video with um, and the um, on, on this original one here this flat bar is a milled part you know it's milled uh, on a couple of different surfaces and then it was put in the four jaw chuck indicated and um, the uh, round was turned on it. So Tom Lipton's original design actually had you putting a hole in this and inserting a pin in there. Um, I don't know, I, th I thought a one piece would, would end up being stronger than that um, and you wouldn't have to worry about the pin coming out. So I, I cut this out on the plasma table and the plasma table, um, you can see it's not exactly an even cut, but with a little bit of work on a grinder, you can clean it up pretty nicely. And um, so this is what the kit's coming with. And all you have to do is nick these corners on the grinder and it fits in the uh, um, three quarter inch black plumbing, plumbing pipe. Well, I should be sitting down here because I've already put something on that in. Yeah, see, see, that goes in there. So anyway, um, so this is kind of like what you know what it's going to look like and um, you see the original one here has a bronze bushing in there again the idea of this is uh, bored out to support that bushing and you know it's I mean if you took that to a machine shop and said you know hey uh, take this uh, DOM tubing and bore it out and put a bushing they charge you 80 bucks for that you know and, and I can see why it's, it's time consuming to do that. So I'm trying to get this kit, you know, where people can get it, um, for an affordable cost. And so this is inch and a half DOM tubing. This is, um, two and a half inches with a half inch wall, leaving an inch and a half on the inside. Well, it doesn't fit, you know, so had to come up with a way to allow guys to get that and make it fit. Um, and I think I've done that, and I've explained that in the video, you know, that comes with the kit 
on how to how to do it. And I did it on this one, and it fits it fits good and works good. And I, I've tested it out and bent stuff with it, and it um, you know it worked good for that. Flip it around here. Take the handle off. So anyway, you know I, it'll be interesting to see what the long term effects on the wear on that is. Um, I really don't think it's going to be a major deal. You know, if somebody tried to get this and use it in a production and you know type situation where they sat and bent, you know, one, a half inch bar on it all day long every day, then yeah, it'd probably wear out. You know, after a while, but. Um, the reason I decided to do that, what made me think to do it, was this break that I got. Um, one of the reviews that I read online uh, pointed out that the main pivot point on this thing has no bushings, bearings, or anything in it. Yeah, it does have Zerk fitting on the main uh, pivot point there. Um, or an oil, oil fitting, I guess. It's not really a Zerk fitting, but... Um, but there's no bushing in it and um so one guy and and all these you know pivot points none of these up here have any bushings anywhere and these are castings you know that um i don't know if cast iron wears faster than dom tubing steel i would think it would but if they can build something you know this big and and use it for what it is um and get away with that surely a little metal bender could could get away with not having a, a bushing in it and um a few of the other tweaks, you know, um, take it from being something that, you know, a machine version that, you know, that you, you can't really use unless you have, you know, you can't do a DIY on it unless you have a, a mill and a lathe, which eliminates a lot of people. And um, so, okay, well, maybe I could make them and sell them, but, you know, not many, you know, so far nobody's said, hey, you know, let me sign up and buy one of those fully machine ones for $199, which is what I would need to sell those for to, you know, kind of recover cost and make a little bit of money on it, uh, at least pay for my time, you know, and um, so I think this is, this is going to work out well, um, you know, hopefully the, the video will, will get out there and get circulated around and so I can make, get people aware of it and, you know, anybody that's interested in it can buy it and you see that pin fits in there good too. And neither one of these two are, are machined, you know. So three quarter, ten eighteen cold roll pin, and three quarter ID on the DOM tubing that we've opened up a little bit, and it fits good. So um, anyway, uh, interesting. Just had uh, Russell and Daryl come by. They um, came and picked up a couple of stars. So you see, my stack is dwindling here a little bit. I've got another one that's been purchased online that I need to get shipped out. But um, right now I'm focused on getting the orders filled for the ones that have come in uh, for these kits. And um, you can see I've got an absolute mess here just trying to figure it out. Um, but I was just going to ask, do you guys have any um, any ideas on a, you know, any better solution on, on kitting this together that... Uh, you know would be inexpensive i'd love to it actually fits once i get it boxed up in this style box it actually fits in this thing but this is not flat rate and i think by the time you pay the pay the weight on that it's going to be more expensive to put it in that um and the good thing about how i'm doing it using zip ties and a couple of these boxes is i'm using the post office's supplies which are free um you know rather than than buying that bubble wrap i, I just i can't believe how much a roll of bubble wrap is you know, and how much of it it takes to, to, to work. So let me know what you guys think. If, if, if I'm missing something here, if you can come up with, you know, a better way, uh, to do this, um, again, just, you know, I'm, I'm getting this all together and taped up. So these things don't, you know, jar around on, on top of each other. And then they get boxed on one of these small boxes, which then goes down in the bottom in the center of that. And I zip tie it to the center. And then I take another one of those boxes and fold it up and pack it on top of it and then close it up. So it's got two boxes inside of it plus zip tied to the bottom and then tied inside the, the one box, you know, it's all taped together in there. So 
let me know what you guys think. All right, guys, just wanted to, yep, big mess. Time to get back to work. Just uh, giving you guys an update. See ya.